This is a jacket. Look at this fish. <laughs> that is awesome. That is a big walleye. Next up, we head to Lake of the Woods for a late summer's day of trolling for walleyes. Light winds, calm seas, and warm temps combined with a hot bite make this a great day to be on the water. John Thielen's Destination Fish is brought to you by Alumacraft Boats and Bandit Lures. There's a hit. Oh, that looks like he might have some shoulders yeah, to him. Yeah, I huh? think so. A lot of fish right here. Feels like it's a little bigger. Yeah. Good. Guess we'll find out shortly. Same thing again though, Greg. Right when, right when I hit that button. Yeah. Right when I juiced it up a little bit, that fish hit it. <laughs> I just can't, I can't bring myself to turn around because every time I get closer to turning around, something like this happens, you just get another good one. Nice fish. Nice fish, Greg. Good one. Look at that, he got himself unhooked for you. Nice walleye. Look at that. Now that's what everybody's looking for when they come out here. <laughs> I mean, he's probably right at that 19. Yep. Beautiful, Beautiful fish. Be a perfect eater, but we're gonna let this one go back. You know, one of the things I, I wanted to talk about today too, so I'm walking through outdoors again this morning, but one of the things I noticed right away that's becoming such a big deal is all these custom colored crankbaits. And I mean, you've got custom colored bandits in there. You've got regular bandits, but man, it's just exploding this it custom. Is. I mean, there's so many things out there. The colors are just the UV colors, yep. you know, the brighter colors. Yep. Give them something to look at. Yep. When it comes down to it, I, I don't even know how many catalog colors there are in bandit. I'm just telling you, there's a lot. There's a lot. <laughs> there's a lot. There's a lot. But, but bandit, when it comes down to it, is probably the most custom painted crankbait out there. And part of that's because it's not only good on the Great Lakes where it made its name, bandits are phenomenal places like this. Anywhere you can pull a crank, anywhere, you can use a bandit. Yeah, anywhere you can pull a crank. I mean, we're fishing for bigger fish today. You'd catch a lot of these fish today if you want to pull a shad style bait. Right. Okay, but you pull that bigger bait like we're pulling today, and that's why we're able to catch the bigger side of the eaters and then hopefully bump ourselves into a real good one today. You know, I mean, you just never know day to day, but the opportunity is always there when you're pulling a big bait. There's one. I'll tell you, it, when, you're, when you're setting up your lead core, it is actually really, really simple to get this put together. I mean, number one, rods and reels, you're not looking for anything super expensive, but you do want a line counter that's gonna hold 10 colors of lead. Your rod's just gonna be a medium heavy style rod, but then your lead core, 18 pound lead core is what I use. An 18 pound lead core is gonna drop five feet per color in depth. But then to tie on your leader, all you do is you take the ends of your lead core and your monofilament leader. All you're doing is tying a double overhand knot. So yeah, it's, it's a really easy thing. Oh yeah, good walleye. Gonna go in the live well. Gonna go home with you for dinner tonight. Ooh, is he too big? He might be a little over. There we go. He might be on the over side. Just a nice fish though. Look at that. Man, they're pretty. They are just beautiful, beautiful fish. Yeah, he's over. He isn't going home. That is the neatest thing though. I've said it for years about Lake of the Woods fishing. The ability to come out, catch fish that are just fun to catch that you're gonna throw back. Exactly. I mean, that's a great fish anywhere you go. That's fun fish to catch, 20 inch walleye. You know, he's not a giant, but, but he's a fun fish to catch. You're gonna let him go and you're gonna fill the live well. I mean, you look at it today, we've thrown a whole bunch of knife eaters <laughs> back, have. but I'll tell you what, this has been one pass down and we're headed back north now. We have fished for less than two hours and this just goes to show you how effective this can be. Because right. we've thrown a bunch of keepers back. That one's going in. Perfect, nice fish. Look at how he ate, ate that back end of that bandit. Just, just ate, he's got two hooks in him. He ate it up so far. <laughs> Here you go. Get him. 
Yeah, don't get hooked. Good fish. Look at that, both lines out of the water. Two nice fish. How can you beat it? John Thielen's Destination Fish is brought to you by these fine sponsors. There's one. You know, a couple things about lead core. It's weighted, so it actually sinks. Yeah, good fish. It actually sinks five feet per color, and every color is 30 feet long. So what we're doing is we're putting lures down there. I'm actually using shallow diving bandits today. These, these bandits would not dive the 31 feet we're putting them down, but we can get them down there with the lead core. Got them. Good fish. This right here, whoop, let me sneak over here. See if I can get them out of there. That's a really good fish right there. But I'll show you this lure in a second. Let me get them unhooked, show you the fish. Look at that. That's a great fish. We'll let him go. And then I want to take a quick minute and show you this lure. This is a shallow diving bandit. This lure right here, when it comes to lead core, as far as I'm concerned, this is a fish catcher. It is. You know, and it's an inexpensive way to go fishing. Yeah. You know, a line counter reel, some lead core. You don't need the downriggers, all right. the accessories that go with it. Right. Anybody can do it. Yep. That right there catches a lot of fish. A couple things I'll tell you, though, real quick to add to it while we get set back up. This morning I started with two golds. I don't normally always start with the same color, but when you get a flat day like this on Lake of the Woods, man, I don't know that there's a better color than gold, right? Most of the time, yeah. Most of the time, yeah. yeah. And then the other thing is getting that lure into the strike zone and making sure you're there. And again, back to the lead core, we've done some adjustments that you probably aren't gonna see by the time we edit this show out, where Greg and I are talking in the boat letting out another 10 feet, letting out another five feet. We're trying to get within a foot of the bottom, maybe even nine inches, and be precise. You don't want to drag this lure in the mud on Lake of the Woods. You do that, you're not going to catch fish. And you know what? You can do a lot of trolling and not catch it. But those little adjustments will help you catch. Today we are trolling in the basin area of Lake of the Woods. We are focusing on 30 to 32 feet of water and trolling at 2.2 to 2.5 miles per hour. Lure choice today is Bandit Walleye Shallows in gold black back and Wonder Bread colors. Water temps are in the mid to high 70s with air temps hovering around 80 degrees. 18 pound lead core line with a 30 foot monofilament leader is the key to getting our lures into the strike zone on this warm summer day. There's one. What you got? Eh, don't feel too bad. You can tell when they hit the, you know, when they hit the surface, one thing I'll tell you, keep reeling. Don't, don't let them back down because that's when they get slack on you. And if they get slack on you, that's their chance to get away. I don't think he's gonna get off. No, he ain't getting off, but he's beautiful walleye. Look at that. Nice fish. That's a good fish. That's a great fish. Here, let me help you out. Another great walleye, man. I'll tell you what, this is, this is just a ball, isn't it? It is. I mean, you don't get any simpler than this. No. It's just fun. No, and once you get it dialed in, you're going to get so comfortable pulling lead core. And you know what? If you're not sure about it, and you're coming up here to Lake of the Woods, stop in and talk to Greg and, and, and Maggie. They'll get you all set up. They'll get you everything you need. Go out and do that right there. Hey, before we go today, one thing I do want to do is I want to take a minute and have Greg tell you a little bit more about outdoors again because you're going to want to stop on your way through town no matter what. So let's let's take a quick look around the store. We'll throw this one in the live well and that'll be about it. Perfect. Outdoors Again is your one-stop shop for everything outdoors in the Lake of the Woods area. Hi, I'm Greg Mortensen, the owner of Outdoors Again. I would like to invite you to stop in for everything you need to make your Lake of the Woods fishing or hunting trip a success. We carry a huge selection of the right bait and tackle from all the major manufacturers, as well as the largest selection of rods and reels in northern Minnesota. We are the home of the famous Jig Buffet. Whether you are here for the open water season or our legendary ice fishing, we have everything you need. When hunting season rolls around, you can count on us at Outdoors Again to have everything you need from decoys to deer stands. At Outdoors Again, we carry one of the largest firearm and ammunition selections in northern Minnesota. 
We are conveniently located on Highway 11 in downtown Bidette with plenty of parking space to accommodate wheelhouses, boats, and trailers. We look forward to seeing you here at Outdoors again on the south shore of Lake of the Woods. Well, there you go. There's all the reason you need to stop in and see Greg on your way through Baudet and Outdoors again. I got another fish on right here and I'm going to catch that fish, but make sure to tune back in next week for more great action on John Thielen's Destination Fish. Closed captioning for John Thielen's Destination Fish is brought to you by Formula Propeller. John Thielen's Destination Fish has been brought to you by these great sponsors.